Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm excited to share what's new to my wardrobe. This month I have a mix of retailers, some new retailers to introduce to you as well. So I hope you enjoy today's haul. I'll have everything linked down below and let's jump in. All right, starting off real quick with what I am wearing today. I was so excited that Spanx launched some new light colors in their Air Essentials. So they came out with this sort of tan heathered kind of oatmeal-y shade and then they also have a gray set as well and then they came out with this new collared top which i'm really excited for this is the more slim jogger pant i'm wearing a small petite in these air essentials runs a little bit roomier so if you're in between sizes i would size down i wore this this morning to the nail salon so got a fresh little french manicure i love the air essential that's so soft and cozy and it's the perfect like put together lounge set all right i'm excited to start off with a new to me brand i have a couple new pieces from petite studio and this first piece did not disappoint it is absolutely stunning and the quality is exceptional like it is very nicely made if you haven't heard of petite studio they are a petite focused fashion brand it's a slow fashion brand that uses very high quality materials. And I feel like for the price point, it is above and beyond. So I'm technically not considered petite. I am 5'5 five five and petite is considered 5'4 and below. However, I have a very, very short torso and I've actually found that petite sizes work really well on my body type. Anyway, so I'm starting off with this gorgeous tweed dress and it fits to perfection. This would be such a great spring and summer work dress, or if you have any like conferences and things like that, I have one later in the year and I feel like this would be perfect for it. I love the fit in the top. It actually sits a little bit wider and it perfect. It's like so flattering on the underarm area. So it has a perfect fit. The buttons are really nice and substantial and this tweed fabric is honestly very, very impressive. This is such a classic dress and that's really what drew me to try some of their pieces because I felt like it fit very well into my classic, more conservative style. I wanted to show y'all a close up of this material and even the inside lining is such nice quality. It feels like silk and even just the stitch work is really nice. So I am definitely very impressed with the quality of this piece especially considering the price point. All right, next up is this gorgeous eyelet dress. And this one also came in a blueprint. I believe it's the same silhouette, but I went with the white. I love a good white dress during the spring and summer. And this one has such beautiful detail to it. It has palm trim, the buttons, all of this texture throughout the whole dress. And then it comes with the tie belt and then these tiered eyelet layers on the bottom. The sleeves on this are three quarter length and it is lined. The liner stops at this first tier, so it is a little bit on the shorter side. And I am wearing a size medium, I believe. I'll put all my sizes down below. Next up from Petite Studio is this gorgeous white blouse. It has this pearl detail here, which I think is so beautiful and unique. And then I also really like the cut in the sleeve. It's actually a tiny bit longer here on the outside in a point and I feel like it looks really nice. The material is really well made, very high quality, not see-through, feels much more expensive than it is honestly. I am wearing a size small, it is true to size. It just buttons up in the back and it's such a nice work blouse but I could also see myself styling it down with some nice jeans and flats as well. I paired the top with these Spanx pants, which are also relatively new to my wardrobe as well. I am wearing a size medium. All right, next up is this yellow floral sundress, and I got a small in this one. I do think I could have went with a medium instead, just the way this is dropping in the waist. It's sort of bunching over my hip a little bit here. So I think a medium would have been a little bit of a better fit on me, but it has this really gorgeous shape to it. Buttons right through here, flowy chiffon sleeves, 
does have some smocking in the back and then a slit as well. This would be nice if you have any like showers or anything like that coming up. And you can also dress it down as well with some white sneakers. I did get a promo code to Petite Studio, so if you are interested in shopping any of these pieces or anything else on the site, you can use code AMANDA25 for 25% off site-wide. And I'll have all of these pieces linked for you down below. All right, next up are these gorgeous blue work pants. And these are so comfortable. They have the smocking in the back and the material they're made out of. They honestly feel like pajamas. Also, they're a great length. I could wear a smaller kitten heel with these. So I didn't have to wear something super tall. I could if I wanted to, but it's nice that I can wear them with these slingbacks from Amazon. The color of these pants is so nice, and I think these would also dress down really well too, even if you wanted to pair them with sneakers. Trousers are very still on trend. Y'all are definitely gonna see that I was very into a lot of blues for this haul, kind of unintentionally as I was unboxing it. I was like, wow definitely could have mixed it up a little bit better but I just thought the shades were so pretty and springy so this dress I think it comes in one other color option love this shade of blue it's like a blue floral this would be so darling if you have any spring events coming up or if you just need a pretty dress for something I love the shape of the top this is super flattering fits really nice in the waist and it's also very comfortable and flowy I'm wearing a medium, so if you are in between, I would definitely size up in this brand in general. I definitely could not have done a small. It fits pretty snug around the rib cage. I styled the dress casually with my favorite sandals. These are back from last year. I wore them so much, and I'm so glad that they brought them back. They're true to size. They have a tiny little heel. I would definitely consider them a flat, and I love the little buckle detail. All right, this dress I feel like could be dressed up or down. It'd be great for summer workwear, depending on your dress code, or even like a good little church dress. The material is really soft and comfortable. I am wearing a size small. It's true to size. Also comes in, I think, a pink variation as well. I was just, of course, drawn to the blue because that's just what I've been loving lately. It almost looks like big hydrangeas, but it's not. But it's a really pretty floral print. Similar shape to that first dress that I really liked. This one has a little bit more of like a forgiving fit than that one. It's almost a tiny bit too long for my waist, but I don't think it's even really noticeable. So this right here is a little bit longer than that first dress, but I think it still totally works. Just zips on the side a little bit and then the back is smocked. So I would say this one is like a good nursing friendly option as well. I styled it here with flats. These are from Target. I have a couple new Target hauls on my channel recently, so I will link those down below in case you missed them. I actually like this maxi dress more than I was expecting to. I just, I ended up really liking the color, I guess, and the blue and white combo. If you're in between sizes and you have wider hips, I would definitely recommend sizing up since there's not a ton of stretch right through here with the stitching. But the fit overall is really nice. It does also have a side zipper as well. And again, I'm 5'5 for height reference and I'm able to wear it with some sandals. I totally forgot to share these swimsuits, so I'm filming this really quick to throw it into the video, but wanted to give you an update on this adorable swimsuit. It also comes in white and it is full coverage in the booty, very flattering. I got a medium, definitely glad I got a medium. So if you're in between, I would size up. It runs a little bit small in the top area. The bow is so cute. It is stitched down, so it stays really nice and it's a thick, honestly, better than Amazon type of quality. And then this one is another really cute option. It's actually reversible. It comes in different color options. Really soft. Again, I would say better than typical Amazon quality. I've also seen this one on Etsy before. It looks very Rifle Paper Company to me. Adjustable little tie straps, and this one's also very like full coverage on the bottom. I have a few shoes to share with y'all that I'm really excited about. I had to have these. I love the wavy detail, and the Dolce Vita heels like this have always been a regular shoe choice of mine during the warmer months. I think they're great for events. I love that they have like a thicker heel so they're easier to walk in. 
and these kind of remind me of the brand Loeffler Randall. Like I feel like this is a style that they would do for a lot less. So, so excited about these. They are true to size, very comfortable heel height. Next, I have some new pieces to share from Shop Avara, and this is my first time shopping from there, and they have so many cute pieces. So starting off with these floral shorts, I'm wearing a small. I would say if you're in between, you can go up. The waistband fits a little snug, but it does have smocking in the back, which is nice because they'll stay, like it will have a close fit, but it will still be comfortable when you sit down. And I really like the length on these. I think it's a four inch inseam. They kind of reminded me of Zimmerman as far as like the floral short thing goes. And then I paired it with this hot pink top. It has this ruffle detail. I think this comes in a couple different color options. I am wearing a small. All right, this eyelet top is also from Avara. It has a very similar fit to the pink one, but the sleeve is more fluttery on the end, so it doesn't have that smocking. But same neckline, and then it's eyelet, and it is line. I paired it with these new jeans. I haven't taken the tag off just yet, but I think I will. I just need to go through my jeans, honestly, and try them on. I feel like I needed like a newer size in my jeans. So this is a 27, and these fit really nicely. They look very similar to the Madewell jeans that I really like, but they're a lighter wash and a smaller size. So they fit good in the butt. I feel like a lot of times my jean struggle is like they're either too tight in the waist, but they fit good in the butt or they fit good in the butt and they're too loose in the waist. <laughs> Whereas these fit really nice for both, which is good. The pocket placement is nice. And then I also think lengthwise, these are great because they work with both flats or heels. I am wearing a 27. I think they're, I don't know doesn't have regular or anything. It just says the classic straight. Next up is this blue and white floral dress. I am wearing a small, it's true to size, has full functional buttons and this really nice thick belt to cinch the waistline. It is also fully lined as well. Even the sleeves are lined, which is really nice. I am 554 height reference. Here's a better look at the top. So you can button it all the way up completely or leave a couple undone and then it has this pleated sort of effect through the shoulders and a little bit of pleated detail in the back as well. All right, next up are these white jeans and I think these are a really great look for less to my favorite mother white jeans that I wear all the time. Those are out of your price point. These are right around 75, plus I do have a promo code I'll put in the description box. I'm wearing a 28. I do think I could have went with a 27. So if you're in between, I would size down. They do have good stretch to them and they're not super opaque or anything. They fit really nicely on my shorter torso and they are comfortable enough to sit in. I wore these earlier in the week, kind of working from home at my desk and they were comfortable all day long. I love the cropped flared look, especially during the warmer months. And then I paired it with this really fun pink top. So this has a fitted sleeve underneath, if you can see that. And then this really voluminous piece that goes over top. It buttons up in the back. So you may need someone's help to do like the top two buttons, depending on how many you need to unbutton. I just did the one and then I was able to button it myself but I'm wearing a small. If you are in between in this one, I would say to go up in the top. And then I paired it with these gold bow sandals. I have been styling these a ton in my recent videos. They are very similar to Lavla Randall, my, one of my favorite shoe designers, but these are, I think they're under 50. I think they're around 45, which is a steal and they're really comfortable. I got my normal size. All right, next I just switched out the top to this fun, very colorful floral top. And I really like the shape to this. It hits in a good spot, so I don't feel like I have to tuck it in, especially on my shorter waist. And it flows nicely. And I just like the sleeve detail and the V-neck with the pleat here. I'm wearing a small in this one as well. I was so excited about this dress. For those of you who love the look of Zimmerman, I feel like this is such a great look for less to their styles. And even the silhouette reminds me of some of the dresses that I have as well. And this one is under hundred 
plus the code. So I am wearing a small, it's true to size, has a great fit in the top, feels very secure through here, little puff sleeves. It is a thicker, let's say it's like a faux, it's, it is kind of linen-y. I need to look at the material. It has some te linen texture to it. It's lined. I think this is actually gonna be what I wear for Easter, depending on the weather. I love the flowiness in the skirt and the belt here, and it just zips up in the back. I also got a few new accessories in. This first pair is from Lacey Lurch. I honestly need to find the other earring. I took it out in my car, so I need to double check in there, or maybe in the bottom of my purse, but I better find it because I love it. It has a mother of pearl floral in this sparkly center. And then this is another pair I got from Lacey Lurch. I thought these would be a really nice, like dressier take on the pearl earring for any events, weddings. These are brand new from Kendra Scott. I haven't worn them yet. They do feel like they're gonna be a little bit on the heavier side, but a really fun, beautiful statement earring. I think this would look nice with like your hair up to really let the earring show. And then this bracelet is also new from Kendra Scott. It, on one side it has clear diamonds and then on this little well, pave diamonds or whatever they're called, like faux diamonds obviously. And then this side has this really pretty, almost like moonstone. Next is this pink pleated tennis skirt. I bought this on Amazon. I also bought the similar one at Lululemon, but I preferred the Amazon one. It was just a little bit more of a warmer color and also a little bit longer. So I'm actually about to head out for a walk right now. I love tennis skirts once it's nice out and it is very nice today. I think it's 75 degrees. So I'm about to head out for a nice little afternoon walk, but I hope you all enjoyed today's video. Definitely check out the description. I have a couple different promo codes for the items in today's video. And thank you for watching. I will see you in my next one. Bye.